Good morning guys, welcome back here to another Mad Mobile video. Jason I double seven here. Hope you guys are having a great Friday. It is Good Friday, obviously, so those who are in school probably won't have school, or if you're on spring break, uh, make sure you do enjoy those days because school definitely gets to you uh, in the middle of the week. But anyway, we do have new Campus Heroes released today. We do have five new ones, and obviously on the screen, as you can see, under our inbox there is featuring James Laurinaitis, who is the highest overall Campus Hero in this week's set. So we do have five players, obviously. Let's, we're going to review all of these players right here on the auction house. Hopefully they are available under the auction house here. So our first player is going to be the lowest overall at 90 overall, so pretty solid. And it's an offensive tackle, so it should sell for a decent amount. It is Justin Blaylock. Take a look at its card quickly. It is a 90 overall offensive guard, actually. I missed said that, but um, right here, looking at stats here, 71 speeds, 94 strengths, 93 awareness, 89 impact block, pretty solid. Um, not the best pass block um, in his card, but seems like a pretty solid card. Probably pick him up for around 60k or so. Yep, its lowest price is 60k. So the price should continue to drop a little bit. I can see it reaching around 50k or so. And our next player is obviously Trent Richardson here. Um, all these campus heroes could be potential busts because pretty much campus heroes are the cards or the players that best performed in college football. So Trent Richardson was absolute beast in Alabama, but um, unfortunately that did not translate into the NFL. That's why he does have a campus hero card. That's why you still see like Tim Tebow and um, Johnny Mansell get the cards. But I mean, Tim Tebow's had some decent success in the league. But looking at his card right here, pretty solid. Looks like he can pick it up for around 70, 60K or so. Looking at his card, let's see its stats here. Um, definitely not one of the fastest guys. Trent Richardson is more of a bigger guy. Could be a guy that you put at fullback. Looking at it, he's got 97 carry, 94 ball carry vision, 86 strength, obviously, 95 acceleration. Um, decent hands for T. Rich, but um, yeah, maybe a guy you put at your flex option at the halfback position. Um, so pretty solid card. If you guys did not hear the news yesterday, RG3 did sign with the Browns, or is expected to sign with the Browns. Um, that's pretty big news. Considering that the Browns do have the second overall pick, they might go ahead and still draft another quarterback, um, which would be interesting. Maybe someone like Carson Wentz or something like that, if you guys do follow uh, NFL draft stuff. But anyway, our next player is another bust, unfortunately, from University of Texas. It is Colt McCoy um, right here. 92 overall card. Surprisingly, still pretty high at 200k. Take a look at its stats quickly. 82 speed, 80 agility, 86 acceleration, 97 throw accuracy short. That's pretty good uh, compared to a 96 overall Brady. Decent throw accuracy mid. Uh, not that good of a deep accuracy, but um, decent throw power as well. Pretty solid card. I won't be surprised if this card drops to around 100k or something in the next coming of days. Um, and here we do get to the big players. We do jump over three overalls, and that is Entrell Roll, 95 overall. I believe he's still on the Giants. I'm not quite sure. Actually, he is, yeah. Uh, or he's actually on the Bears. When he's not the Bears? I'm kind of behind on this NFL news, honestly. But um, right here, looks like he went to college in Florida. I'm not so sure about that. But um, he was a beast on the Giants, I remember. Um, but as you can see, compared to Bradley Fletcher, I just have a random cornerback because I'm completing that Deion Sanders as of now. Um, really good stats. 95 speed, 67 strength, 90 agility, 96 excel, 85 awareness, 68 tackle. Good man in zone. Um, not that great play rec. Um, I wish he had a bit better play rec at 95 overall. But pretty solid. His price is extremely high. Going for lowest over a million coins. Um, I won't be surprised if that drops to around 400k or something um, once people pull him in packs more often. And our biggest player is the one that's featured in that inbox message right there. It is James Laurinaitis. I'm not so sure if he's even available under auctions. He's not, but I'll, guys re I'll read you guys some of his stats right here. So his speed is 88, his strength is 84, good acceleration at 94. Uh, his tackle is 97, which is pretty good. His zone coverage is 88, which is definitely better than his man coverage. And he also has 97 play recognition, which is really good for a linebacker, as well as 93 hit power and 96 pursuit. So some are, those are some of his highlights on his card. I know that there's none on the market that I would like to show you guys, but I just thought I'd read you 
guys his stats. But anyway guys, I hope you guys do enjoy this review video. I know it's a bit of a short video. Um, I should probably be uploading another video later this afternoon. I will be seeing Superman Batman, so um, it is the release, or yesterday night was the release. So I hope that movie is good, I don't know. But we'll see. But anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And I forgot to say this, thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. We are exactly on 200 subscribers. So I really guys do appreciate that. Um, thank you again, and I'll catch you guys next time with another video. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.